I am Pamela Rosano Soliano from Bitevita Ed to see garments, fashion, and design. So for today's video, I am going to explain and demonstrate the mental game that I want to play. And I choose Rubik's Cube Puzzle Game. The Rubik's Cube is a 3D combination puzzle invented in 1974 by Hungarian sculptor and professor of architecture Erno Rubik. As of January 2009, 350 million cubes had been sold worldwide, making it the world's top-selling puzzle game. There are seven benefits from solving or playing Rubik's Cube. First, improve your memory. Second, improves your patience. Third, improve your problem-solving skills. Fourth, mapping out your steps. Fifth, keep your mind active. Six, improves your speed. Seven, improve your fingers, dexterity, and agility. For now, I will demonstrate parts and moves on how to solve Rubik's Cube. Name of each part. Center, edge, corner. There are six Rubik's Cube lingo or algorithm. R for right, L for left, U for up, F for front, D for down, B for back. And apostrophe means that the layer should move counterclockwise by 90 degree. There are seven goals of algorithm. First, the white cross on the bottom. Second, the bottom corners. Third, the middle layer. Fourth, the yellow cross. Fifth, the top layer. Sixth, the top corners. Seven, the final goal. First, solve the white cross on the bottom. The task here is to put together a white cross and align its edges with the right colored center on each side. Second, solve the four corners pieces of the bottom. At this stage, you'll have to put the lower corners of the cube in the right places and the white side of the cube will be solved. Here's where you will use the RU, R apostrophe, U algorithm for your right hand. Third, solve the four edge pieces in the middle layer. At this stage, you'll need to solve the rest the middle layer so that the outer blocks are the same color as the center. In the first case, the layer you'll be working with is to the left on the top of the target position. You must watch it with the right color. Use the algorithm below. Fourth, solve the yellow edges on the top layer. First, you put together a yellow cross on the yellow side on the cube. If you don't see the yellow line but only a random set of yellow edges, start doing the algorithm. As soon as you see the yellow description, use the algorithm below. Fifth, solve the four edge pieces on the top layer. Now, we need to arrange the edges of the yellow cross so that the second color coincides with the color of the side. Use the algorithm below. 6. Orient the yellow corners on the top layer. At this stage, the task is to put the corners in place with the appropriate colors of neighboring centers. You only need to move them into place. You're not solving them just yet. Use the algorithm below. 7. Use the yellow corners on the top layer. You're almost done. All you have to do is to solve the corners. Use the algorithm you already know in a slightly modified order until the corner is solved. That's all. Thank you for watching.